viewers, I am Dr. G. Little Flower from the Department of Physics offering a short term course on superconductivity. The fascinating phenomenon of superconductivity and its potential applications has attracted the attention of scientists, engineers and businessmen. Intense research has taken place to discover new superconductors to understand the physics that underlies the properties of superconductors and to develop new applications for these materials. In this free online course, you will read about the history of superconductors, taking a brief look at their properties. You will also learn about the properties of superconductors, the types of superconductors that exist today and their commercial applications. The objectives of this course are to learn the macroscopic electrodynamic properties of superconductors in terms of electromagnetism concepts, to distinguish between the type of superconductors, to learn about superconducting alloys that have commercial applications. After studying this course, students will be able to explain the meanings of the newly defined terms and symbols and use them appropriately. They will be able to distinguish between perfect conduction and perfect diamagnetism and give a qualitative description of the masonry effect. They will be able to explain how observation of a persistent current can be used to estimate an upper limit on the resistivity of a superconductor and perform calculations related to such estimates. They will be able to explain why the magnetic flux through a superconducting circuit remains constant and describe applications of this effect. They will be able to show how the London equations and Maxwell's equations lead to the prediction of Meissner effects. The course on superconductivity is divided into the following five units. The first unit will be about history of superconductivity and the second unit is dedicated to properties of superconductors and the third unit will be discussing about modeling properties of superconductors and the fourth unit will discuss about the types of superconductors and the fifth and the last unit will be applications and conclusions. Students are expected to take up this course for three hours per week for six weeks. They are expected to take up a quiz or objective type test after each chapter. After clearing this test only, students can take up the next chapter. Thank you for watching this video. This course will be very interesting and you are welcome to join this course.